What's up everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Final Fantasy 16. So before we get into the game here, I want to show you this. This is a tutorial message that I accidentally just kind of shot through. So apparently in an update or something, uh, we can make different sets of iconic abilities. Uh, I'm not sure because I haven't played around with it yet. If that means I can swap it on the fly, so, you know, I can have set one and then swap to swap, uh, set two mid-combat. But, yeah, it looks like you, so you can set up different, uh, different sets of abilities and uh, swap them so you don't have to just constantly swap out abilities if you want to try something new, so... Uh, on that note, we're gonna make for the river south of the Velcroy, looking for these necessary materials. I now, if your question is, AJ, what materials are you looking for? Do you remember? Not a bit. It's been, I, I took way too much time off this game. I totally forgot. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Um, the second expansion or DLC or whatever came out, uh, Rising Tides, I believe it's called. Uh, yes, I have it. It is downloaded. I believe you don't get access to the actual, like, missions until the very end of the game. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like Black Sand to me. Like, I, I think from what I saw, you actually, from what I read, you actually get into the last mission and literally play up to the final boss before you can activate Rising Tide. But also from what I've heard, it is much longer than I want to say Echoes of the Fallen, which we still haven't activated, which I think will also activate itself as we play, so... Again, that's the whole thing with uh, with both those DLCs. They will be played when I get access to them and before we finish the game. At least that's my plan. I say that just because if um, Rising Tides really is that close to the end and I accidentally finish the game, then we'll finish... Rising Tides after we finish the game. See how the getting on. If that's possible. Either way, I'll, I'll find some way to play Rising Tides. Don't worry. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. Say the word, Gav. Come on. Blackthorn. Hey, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. 
Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Was as the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. I like these two. I like that Gav doesn't treat you know he you know he doesn't treat him like anything other than just his buddy. I mean he's yeah, obviously he's you know like their leader, but I mean he's still his buddy deep down, and he's you know essentially just telling him and trying to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. You know, that, that was just kind of him telling him, you know, I trust you, man, and I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Right. You know. Ready to go home, boy? Just because I think he need, you need a buddy that you won't, don't... How to put it? Because on the one hand, that sounds like he's being a... Huh, okay. Oh, okay, so I can just press the button and it'll just take us to Blackthorn. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like I said, I, it, was, it was a conversation that just seemed to me like I was Gav telling him, hey, you know, you don't have to put on airs around me. You know, we're, you know, we're best buds. Come talk to me if you need, and when it's time to go into battle, man, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. It was a... I really like their dynamic. You know, it, it really kind of shows that Gav trusts Clive almost implicitly. And Clive respects that trust and, you know, wouldn't go beyond it. You know, while everyone kind of treats, you know, treats him like the leader and everything. You know, you got Gav who's, you know, Clive's just another guy. Thorn. At least that's how I got that conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Quest complete. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Okay, that's just reporting back to mid. Are my items what can I do for you? all up to date? You down? Sorry, sold out. What, your stock is depleted? I want that. That's... Actually, it looks like a good sword. Maybe I've already bought... Ah, whatever. Uh, we'll set... Oh, I have bought it. Why am I not using it? It's stronger. Oh, because I wanted the um, the stun. That's right. See, I, I, I answered my own question. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I just paid you 10,000 gil. I'm not much bothered either way. But no, not that way because that's my... I don't remember how the hell they get to her. I 
before checking my items. Maybe I should have just done the uh, the auto report or whatever. Oh my god, he's so fucking cute. You got anything for me, little guy? Oh yeah, well we got that mission and that kind of kicked my ass, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna you know we're gonna do that later. Oh man, yawn just came in and hit me. Whew. Oh boy, I've got to get back and start working on uh, on some stuff. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work. But I want to get these couple videos done before I start working. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's her name back there? I'll give you all details. What's her name? What's her name? Right. Go up to her and her, her actual name is what's her name? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves... As Did it seem like the the character was confused in that dialogue? Or was it the voice actor? I can't tell. Fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins You know, why didn't we just, you know, uh, just give me all of the stuff you wanted me to collect and I could have gone out and done it in one fell swoop instead of going out collecting one thing and then bringing it back and going out to collect another thing. Uh, it just seems inefficient. We got any, uh, oops, wrong button. To say we got any side missions? It does not look like it. But yeah, like I said, um, I gotta work. I gotta work on a thing. Um, my um, cybersecurity club is in a. Um, Ready, we leave at once. 
Lost my train of thought. My cybersecurity club at my university. We are in a um, competition that is running throughout the weekend, and I am part of the team, so I should contribute. Our um, head of the club came up to me, you know, he asked me, he's like, you know, are you still interested in joining? I said, look, if you got somebody else and uh, who can do it and wants to do it, let them in and forget about me. I'm just not in a great headspace. You know, I talked about this in my last uh, Final Fantasy VII video. I've just been a little, I've just been down, just kind of depressed. And um, yeah, I'm just not been, I've been doing great the last couple of weeks. And again, as I said in that video, before anybody goes, oh my god, like, no, I'll be fine. Just, I just gotta work through it. I'll be fine. It's just, it's how I am. I go, I go through time pe periods of time that I'm like, I'm super motivated, and I'm like, yeah, I'm all, I'm all good and whatnot. And then I go through times that I'm just, you know, I feel like I'm a worthless piece of shit. So, it's just kind of how I am. I'll get through it. Um, but yeah, so I told him, you know, if you if you can, forget about me. But if you need me, I'll step up. And eh, well, he needed me. Granted, I was also told that, oh, don't worry, the the team competition is next week. Like, oh, okay, sweet. So at least I got like, I, so I'm like, okay, I have a week to kind of catch up on shit, get my head on straight. No, it was this weekend. I'm like, ah, crap. <laughs> of course, the time that I'm like super behind on everything. That's that's fantastic. There you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about. I'd imagine. Would you uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Okay, well, what am I going to go fight? That's my question. You keep saying creature. Can you define it for me or something? Anyway. Hello? Bork, bork. Boogity, 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 boogity. It, uh, time to go. Pressing circle, trying to dodge. Stop moving. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Not the first time I've killed one of those. Any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. 
All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Quest complete. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like these instant report sort of deals. They're kinda nice. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. Not what's her name. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? What was the other one? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to give me a... Hold the button and just go tell he <laughs> just go talk to him. It's like, ooh, I like this system. I barely have to barely have to just run around and do random shit. I can just hit this and automatically uh, teleport to people. How may I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received? Mm, you got anything for me? You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. And Always nothing here. There. Okay, awesome. We're seeing troops in our Senate. I like this is light guitar music. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? This is nice to listen to. Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril. Engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. 
I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as moon dew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. I like this guy. I don't know what it is about him, but I like him. To help you. Perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? What? Why would I take Tharja? Tharja? I mean, nothing against her, but... Very well. Obviously, I'm going to take Jill. What do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane... They have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Talia, okay. I've been mispronouncing that. What have I been pronouncing it like then? Tharja. Tar oh, wasn't Tharja the name of... Uh, one of your mage characters in... I know it was a Fire Emblem game. I can't... I, I cannot remember which one. Where's Jill? She wore a very revealing outfit. That's all I remember. I know I'm a I'm a very simple person. Nuts. I can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the Fresh cuts! Come and get them before. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for the garlic. How the hell is anyone so what do you want? Papio nuts. Everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Did you find everything? 
I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. A lot of carbs in this little, uh... A lot of carbs in this little picnic. I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry-cured ham, and it was just... Oh. You are right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again. God damn it. Dipping bread in, like, a hearty soup. That just sounds so good to me right now. Live. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, kiss her on the mouth. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Kiss. Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. God, at least hold her hand, you coward. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and... Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. Aww. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, 
it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. What afraid Mid'll just go? Ooh, cool, it's done. Uh, let's apply it all and put it on a boat and hope it doesn't blow up. Yeah, that sounds like her, actually. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. <laughs> didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabin. <laughs> Two words that just do not sound like they belong together. One down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? Keep it to yourselves, eh? You know, you could have just continued the cutscene, but whatever. Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's 
what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait, where's the mess hall? It's over here. Okay. It told me she was building a ship. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finish sending half the hideaway traipsing across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. I might still be able to catch her. Is that the thing Tom's helped? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Are they gonna... Are they gonna read it? No, okay. I, then, then I have to put my voice talents work here. Give me a second. <coughs> okay. My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings on in the furry cities, by what I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours, though I believe one Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt that Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted, and if rumor has already reached uh, my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our doors, which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impeding attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration, your loving uncle. Troubling Canva. Well... I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. He says with a smile, like she's a mischievous younger sister. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? 
You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. <laughs> Okay, looks like there's some quests, but can't really do much about that until we go to the old hideaway. can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. scenic view back then but it were never as bad as this I know the blight marches on and soon there'll be no escaping sights like these so our mission remains unchanged we cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> I like these two. You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> it's 
What's the smile on my face? There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off me poor fingers. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? No. <laughs> You see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. It just puts a smile to your face. Just look up there and there's like a big ghost Sid in the sky. I'm just making a smile, just having a that cheeky grin. All right, uh, we're going to close here because we'll probably in the next video uh, activate some of these quests at the hideaway before we keep on keeping on. I mean, he mentioned that there's only one more mother crystal. I mean, that's technically not true because, I mean, yes, I, I understand. It's still we have in the uh, the Empire the of Sembrak, but we still have the Kingdom of Waludes over here. Though I guess, you know, they're not on Storm. They're on technically a different continent. Even though they're, like, barely separated. Hmm. But, whatever. Guys, I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Social media is down in that description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more next time. But until then, I'm out.